<laughs> yes, indeed, yo. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dives with Mr. Duga. Woo! Pat Riley, Pat Riley, Pat Riley. Talk to me, Pat. <laughs> and tonight I'm going to talk about today's big free agent moves The Miami Heat have made Signing Jimmy Butler to a big extension Re-signing Duncan Robinson Re-signing Dwayne Dedman And also trading for Kyle Lowry And, and um, signing P.J. Tucker, yo Are all the moves that the Miami Heat made today And I'm going to talk about each and every one of them And how I think it helps our basketball team going forward uh, Before I get into this video, though, for everyone If you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms Facebook, Instagram, uh, and Twitter I'm going to have all that information down in the description box May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos So feel free to DM me And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you Come holla at your boy. Also, if you are a Madden player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. I love it, man. I absolutely love the moves that Pat Riley and the Miami Heat made today. But before I get into all the positives and, and, and all that, man, let me first start off by saying, look, um... I want to tip my hat to Goran Dragic, Golgate, the Dragon, whatever you want to call him. Um, you know, he was a really good Miami Heat player. He did a lot of big things, uh, helped us get to the NBA Finals last season. Just was a constant professional. When we needed him to come off the bench, he came off the bench. When we needed him to start in the bubble last year, he, uh, well, year before last or whatnot, uh, he started. You know, he was just a constant professional. Made an all-star team with us one year. Just absolutely did his thing. Scored. A uh, great teammate. Just all-around good dude. And, um, you know, I'm going to miss him, man. You know, as far as uh, having him on this team, you know, he, he brought a lot of good to the Miami Heat organization. So before I talk about all that, I had to throw that out the way to give Goran Dragic his, pro his proper respect. Um, and I wish him well on his future endeavors, yo. But now with the current Miami Heat team, yo, I love the moves. Yo, getting, first off, I'm going to start off with Kyle Lowry. We get Kyle Lowry. I think we signed him to a three-year, $90 million deal. Um, now, look, he's a little longer in the two. You know, he's, he's like, what, 35, 36 years old. He's not as young as he once was. But he's still, when you look at what Chris Paul did for the Phoenix Suns, Kyle Lowry is still a very effective player on both sides. Offensively, you know, he, he could he could get to the hole. He could he could catch and shoot. He could shoot off the dribble. He could play make. Like he, he could do so many different things that you know this team could use. And then especially where he's gonna make his biggest difference for us is on the defensive end. I think over the last however many years he leads the NBA in, in taking charges. So you have that type of scoring ability also playmaking and you know you could defend you know also it's a, it's a big pickup for this basketball team yo a real 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 big pickup a guy who's been an all-star for a countless amount of years a nba champion now look i wasn't always the biggest kyle lowry guy until he you know i know Kawhi won finals mvp but look kyle lowry did a lot of great things in that series yo to help the Toronto Raptors win that NBA championship. So I I I am excited to get him on board with this team. Also, a new another new addition we added was PJ Tucker. Um a guy to I think a two year, nine or ten million dollar deal or whatnot. Look, I like PJ Tucker a lot, uh, as far as I want I kinda wanted us to trade for him pet this past season at the deadline, but you know, I didn't want to give up one of my, like Houston, like one of one of our young players and, you know, a first round draft pick. And I wasn't really to go that far. But this is a guy that look like, let's keep it real. Like Jay Crowder was a big part of this basketball team that we didn't understand how big of a, of a piece he was to this team getting all the way to the NBA finals. Um, you know, the, a guy that could come out there shoot the three ball, and also defend at a high level, and also bring a level of toughness to the team. 
we definitely missed that this past season. And when you look at P.J. Tucker, that is exactly what he does. Now, he may not be as efficient of a three-point shooter as Crowder is at times, but P.J. Tucker could absolutely get after it. He could defend. And if you watch his post um, championship, you know, celebration when he had the uh, the liquor and everything, when he was just talking about how they some dogs. Like, he has a chip on the shoulder. He going to come in. P.J. Tucker and Kyle Lowry are two guys to me that have heat culture written all over them. So I'm excited to get these two, you know, in our building. Also, um, as far as our own, you know, a, a very underrated signing. We re-signed Dwayne Dedman to a one-year deal. Look, Dwayne Dedman did some good things for the Miami Heat last season. Um, you know, we already a team that, that pretty much lacks size. For him to come in there, you know, with his with his tall, big frame, and to just be a good defender and a good guy around the basket, um, and just being an overall veteran, I just love having him on this team. And it's good that we could, um, you know, we could bring him back and see what he could do for us. I'm excited to bring him back. And also, far too on your Duncan Robinson signs a five year, ninety million dollar deal. Um, shout out to Duncan Robinson is the highest undrafted free agent deal in NBA um, deal for an undrafted guy in NBA history. Uh, look, <laughs> when Robinson is hot, he hot. <laughs> like the problem with him is when he goes cold, he's cold. He don't give you a whole lot of other stuff, but he's one of the sharpest shooters in the NBA like that you could have. So when you add him along a Kyle Lowry and a Jimmy Butler and a Bam Adebayo, you know, um, I, I like the prospects of having him out there. Yo, he could really knock down the three ball. He's getting a little better also as a playmaker and put the ball on the floor. You know, obviously he's, he's probably never going to be a great defender. You just want him to be a solid defender, but I love having him back. Now, I'm surprised that we gave him that much money and that much years, but at the same time, I'm happy. You know, you keep your own. When you have your own that's successful for you, you do the best you can to keep your own. And, of course, you know, we have Jimmy Butler who signs a four-year max contract worth up to $184 million, yo. Shout-out to, uh, shout to Jimmy Butler. You know, um, guy's a leader, yo. He didn't have the greatest series against the Milwaukee Bucks, but Jimmy's a leader, yo. Jimmy's going to go out there. Jimmy's going to give it it all. Jimmy's going to defend. Jimmy's going to attack the basket. Jimmy is going to do it all for us, yo. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. Yo. I'm happy for him. When he signed with us, he got a lot of backlash. People was like, why you going to sign with that mediocre Miami Heat team and stuff like that? And, um... Two straight playoff appearances, including an NBA Finals appearance. So, shout out to Jimmy Butler, you know, for, for everything he's done for this Miami Heat organization. And shout out to the guy for the Pat Riley. Because Pat Riley is letting the NBA know, look, you need to put us in this conversation. It's like, we're not just going to lay down to Brooklyn or lay down to Milwaukee. You know, ooh. Me, or whoever, we're going to go out there and we're going to put pieces in place to compete. And we're going to compete, you know, for, um, for a championship or Eastern Conference, you know, crown on our own. Yo. Uh, I like, I, like I said, I like all the players, the P.J. Tuckers, you know, he could go at it with Durant. You know, Kyle Lowry, we know if, 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 if it get real, he could go out there and get some buckets for us. You know, Jimmy Butler with his leadership and playing two ways. And Duncan Robinson's ability, you know, to shoot the three ball. I'm excited about this Miami Heat team, yo. Um, real, real, real excited. Shout out to Pat. Shout out to everybody who made this thing happen today. Big free agency day. Uh, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have Miami Heat and NBA content throughout the year. Also, uh, programming note, instead of Wednesday, this coming Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific, I do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything, I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live. 
Also on Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern to 1 p.m. Eastern, I co-host Big Time Sports Talk with Mike the Bandit. Make sure y'all come on there, download the ESPN 1420 a.m. app, and give and give us a uh, give me a chance, give me a chance to listen, get, ch- listen to the show. <laughs> Don't get twisted. Just listen to the show. Listen to your boy on the radio, yo. It'll be some good stuff. I'll tell you then, y'all have a blessed one. Let's go heat. Oh, thought I hit.